Joey Casano right here representing Team Casano.com. Coming to you from beautiful South Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida, downtown. Got the door open. It's actually a little chilly for us on January 8th, 2020 for us Floridians. Anyways, like I said, I represent Team Casano.com. We'll talk about them later. What we'll do right now is we're going to talk a little bit about Houston going into KC. Should be a cold game that day. Um, you know, 10, you know, to a lot of people might seem like a huge number, and uh, it is for any playoff team. You know, I said that yesterday in Tennessee, and um, uh, Tennessee and whoever the heck they, they're playing. Like I said, I don't keep up with the teams that much, but, um, you know, uh, Tennessee and Baltimore, right? that's it. But I was looking at the teams. Houston has lost by 10 on more than a couple of occasions. They got blown out by Baltimore 7-41. to 41. They got blown out by uh, Denver, 24-38. You know, um, margins greater than 10, obviously. Um, that's just going back on their last 10. You know, KC in their last 10, I'm trying to see, they, they won by 10. The last two of those before that, they shut Chicago down, winning by more than 10. They shut Denver down, winning by more than 10. Actually, by 20, really, on some of these games. Over 15, I'll put it that way. They blew out Oakland by 30, you know. Um, so they definitely can blow some teams out. Will they blow out Houston this weekend with so much on the line? Mm, NFL divisional round. You know, KC has got to be hungry after what happened, the way they, the way they lost ending the year last year. A heartbreaking year. Obviously, that doesn't always mean so much. New Orleans tells the story. I think New Orleans is obviously just cursed. You know, I guarantee you Teddy Bridgewater had a little bitty smile in the back of his head and was thinking in his head saying, if I was in there, we would have won. Anyways, that's a whole nother video, a whole nother time, a whole nother conversation. Uh, Mahomes and company, they should be stacked and ready. Andy Reid, like, you know, I mean. But then again, you look on the other side of the ball and you say, can Deshaun Watson really pull it together, keep him within 10 and, I, you know, I don't know, guys. I might lay Kansas City. I think Kansas City might want to accelerate off the, right off the jump. And, um, you know, I might lay the, the, the nine on this one. This is a tough one here. Uh, in any NFL is always tough, but NFL postseason and tougher. Uh, so, anyways, uh, this one's going to be a tight one, I think. But I, I could easily see KC running away in the second half, winning by maybe 13 or 14. I would lean Chiefs. That's just a lean, not even a free pick. Anyway, so Team Casano, what we do is we manage your sports book. We want to increase the balance of your sports book. We do not suggest parlays ever, ever. And if you do, money line underdog those mugs. Do a two team money line underdog winners. We had two money line dog winners last night and one favorite. I will show you the pick from last night. We went three and zero. Beautiful night as usual. Uh, it's been you know past couple of days, but overall we 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 usually come out swinging. And there it is last night. We had Rutgers, straight up money line dog winner. Missouri State, straight up money line dog winner. And Kent State got the cover easily against Toledo. Putting us at 3-0. and And then for the year, let's see, that would put us at, let's see here. Sorry, guys. 43-27. and I know the tracker can be manipulated. However, all you got to do is watch the previous videos. Please subscribe to the channel. Trying to get the icon fixed now. Please subscribe to the channel, and you can see that I that that, that record is accurate. In other words, uh, I give out a ton of free picks every uh, you know all the time. So definitely subscribe, like, tell me why you think the Texans are going to keep it close. Tell me why you think the Chiefs might blow them out. I honestly, if I had to just if it was today and I had to bet it. Honest to God, I think I would lay the points and take them minus the nine. That's just me. Uh, total sitting at 51. That's kind of, uh. But like I said, back to Team Casano. What we do is reach out to my guy, Daniel Wages. We already as players. We bet on these games ourselves. We swallow enough juice as it is. We do not charge a huge amount like some of these people out there that other services do. You know, we just want to chisel away at the book. We know we swallow enough juice. So our fee, you want to be able to go ahead and get past that. And we chisel away at the book. Slowly but surely, and like I said, 43 and 27. If you want to join a team that does 43 and 27, and we've got a, a deeper roster this year than expected. If you want to join a team that's 43 and 27, you know, I mean, you do the math on that if you wager 110 and win 100 on every game in the last, you know, that's that's been since just like week 16. Um, 
got a couple, got some college hoops tonight. That's primarily what's going on at this time of the year is college hoops. Very little football left over. So, you know, um, but yeah, I would go Chiefs right now. But like I said, there's a lot of time to go. I, I like to watch the number kind of move around and see where the public money goes in and out, that kind of stuff. But anyways, please sign up. Click on the link below. Sign up for the free pick. Subscribe to the channel. Other than that, like I said, reach out to my guy Wages on Facebook. Text the number below. Email the number below to contact either one of us. Other than that, my name is Joey Cassano. I appreciate you giving me over five and a half minutes of your life. And once again, we're we saying goodbye from South Florida. Thanks for watching my video.